Hey, everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, with our update for Monday, May 20th, 2019. Hope you all are doing well. We've got a free pick coming up from Monday's card in a moment. Also going to get back to our NFL thumbnail sketches. Jacksonville Jaguars on this report. Before I get to that, a quick note. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link below the video, and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or any other other handicapper of your choice at the website again all you got to do is click on the link below the video to get started and sign up or get started i should say for that free 60 dollars account Going to get to our free pick again in just a minute. Want to tell you what happened yesterday, what's going on today. Yesterday, 2-1 and one overall with our premium picks. Uh, we won in the NBA with the Toronto Raptors. We won in Major League Baseball. I lost in the NHL, wrong side there. Listen, the Sharks had a great first period dominating, uh, but we're down one nothing. Bennington was great. Jordan Bennington was fantastic between the pipes for St. Louis. And then after that, rest of the game, St. Louis took over a final two periods. So hockey's off tonight. Tonight, they'll play Tuesday. We'll be in action. We'll talk more about that on uh, Tuesday's report. As far as basketball and baseball, we are involved in both. I've got an NBA play in tonight's Western Conference Finals. Aside from that game, and also we've got Major League Baseball. It's a short, abbreviated card on Monday, but we are involved in one particular game on Monday slate in baseball. We'll look to go to six and one with our last seven baseball plays, and we'll look to go to forty-two and twenty-one with our last sixty-three in the NBA. All right, that's all available on mondaymorningdocsports.com. I want to get to the thumbnail sketch on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Two teams left in the AFC, Jacksonville today, and then we'll get to Tennessee with our next video, and then we'll head over to the NFC. Uh, but with Jacksonville, as far as they are concerned, the over-under wins total is eight. You know about Nick Foles. They signed Nick Foles, an uh, $88 million four-year deal, and uh, he's going to be the starter this year. They're going to have about, what, Gordon Minshew comes in from Wazoo in the draft. they got a couple of other quarterbacks they are going to fight for a position. But as far as I'm concerned, Nick Foles, upgrade from last year is he going to do you know great and get this team to where they want to be probably not uh, a couple of years ago he gets all the credit in the world for what he did with the eagles leading them to that super bowl win but let's call it like it is last year he played seven games he turned the ball over 12 times so i don't think he's surrounded with enough offensive talent to make a huge leap for the jacksonville jaguars but it is a big upgrade from what they had here the last several seasons, including last year uh, when this team had a lot of high hopes before the season began and then fell flat on their keisters. As far as what happened in the draft, everybody, listen, I like their draft. I thought it was an A-minus type of draft. I like the fact that they got the kid Josh Allen on defense. Uh, I think it was out of Kentucky. I like that they got the Florida offensive tackle. I think there's going to be immediate noise made by their top two draft picks. So they did a good job with both of those overall top to bottom the jacksonville draft again i thought was a minus b plus at the very worst they did a really nice job but again going into 2019 i don't see enough offensive help around nick Foles for this team to get to nine or ten wins as far as the defense is concerned they still have top shelf talent there's no doubt about that and if Foles can protect the football not commit the kind of turnovers that he committed last year and at least give this team a fighting chance on offense which they didn't have last year year then the defense doesn't get worn out they stay fresh between the years and they go out and they make some plays and they got a chance to actually make a little bit of noise in the AFC this year so anyway having said that I think the defense will be fine I think the offense still going to be a little bit down but much better than last year when they scored what 22 offensive touchdowns worst in the league as far as the schedule is concerned it's a little tough they open up with KC if you haven't seen the line movement the Chiefs opened five and a half on the road it is down to three and a half that of course coming with the news about Tyreek Hill a couple of weeks ago and there are some fours out there also so it depends on what shop you happen to prefer after KC they've got the Houston Texans in fact they play the Texans twice before their bye week they've got a I think a ninth week bye week which I'm not crazy about kind of like it a couple of weeks earlier in your season but when I look at the schedule from top to bottom and it's not easy I still think they've got a shot at eight wins I think they're probably going to land on seven and that's assuming Nick Foles doesn't have a bad turnover season and he stays healthy I think they can win eight but I think they'll probably win seven at the most eight I think it's too close 
close for us to call at that over under wins total set at the books at eight they did a pretty good job with this team and we're going to head going to go ahead and pass as far as making our own personal bet slight lean towards the under and remember when i do these videos now in may if i do decide to upgrade to an actual play whether over or under on these particular teams i will let you know as soon as we do on that particular day's video but for now we think the eight wins is just where jacksonville should be because we think they're going to land either on seven wins or eight wins this upcoming season all right our next team that we're going to look at will be the tennessee titans also of the afc south that'll be on our next video and then of course after that we'll head over and tackle the nfc again before we get to the free pick i wanted to uh, reiterate what's going on on monday for us two plays nba i've got the side uh, in the western conference finals we look to go to 42 and 21 as i mentioned before hey i want to say thanks to all those who have been jumping on board with these nba plays 67 percent almost now for the past two months of the nba up about sixty three hundred dollars for those wagering 100 dollars per unit i appreciate you guys who have come over and jumped on board and uh, i tell you what we we'll look to keep it running we've had a phenomenal nba finals run going all the way back to what was it 08 when the celtics beat the lakers and we've just been winning season after season since then. We had a fantastic year that year, 6-0 against the spread, and we're now 42-23 and with the last 65 NBA Finals plays against the numbers. So anyway, something to look forward to when we get to the NBA Finals, but for Monday, immediately looking forward to tonight's game between uh, the Warriors and the Blazers. And again, it will be available on Monday morning along with Major League Baseball over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to the free pick for Monday, a match in the NL West between the D-backs and the Padres from Petco. It'll be Luke Weaver for Arizona, Chris Paddock for the Friars. And as much as I like Paddock, the young pitcher, the young righty, I, I think he's a go against in this particular game. You're getting a nice price, by the way, with the Arizona Diamondbacks, nice underdog price with Luke Weaver. Paddock has pitched well. He's put up some nice numbers at Petco, but take a look at the teams he faced when he was on that home bump. They weren't exactly playing their best offensive baseball when they were rolling into town into San Diego to take on both the Padres and Paddock. Arizona can score runs. They can hit. They got a nice OBP. San Diego cannot. As you know, they've been stuck around 25 to 29th in that range. Team batting average, OBP, subsequently run scored per game. And Luke Weaver has been outstanding. In fact, his road numbers have been better than his numbers at home. And one more advantage for Arizona in this game, they did already see Chris Paddock. They saw him back, I think it was April 12th, in Phoenix. He pitched well against them. But now they've seen him, so there is that, that kind of a loss of advantage for Chris Paddock when he faces Arizona in this particular their uh, outing and finally as far as the matchups are concerned arizona's won 10 of the last 14 at petco so they are used to winning in san diego we're going to back the underdog arizona diamondbacks and luke weaver on monday night your free pick but right, that'll do it for us for monday if you like these videos click on that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe we appreciate those who have done so thus far i'm scott sprites or docsports.com put monday in the win column right back here tuesday no later than 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific